Hello guys, coming in with my fur baby here. Um, I recently got uh, the Ohuhu marker sketch pad, actually books, and um, I wanted to do, I hadn't gotten a chance to use the paper, so I wanted to test it with some of my art supplies. And so this is going to be a little bit like a comparison video, but I'm just doing kind of just my my supplies that I have and we're gonna go like in random order because I have it all set up weird and um, I wanted to see how this paper holds up with doing some a uh, little bit of coloring uh, swatching so um, this is me North Star Lady coloring with North Star Lady a comparison video with medium on marker paper it said but I have a couple of who uh, markers. I got water base markers, and then I got her got a uh, hoo-hoo's um brush markers, alcohol markers. So I'm going to start though with um the a uh, hoo-hoo water base marker, and that's here. We're gonna do a little bit here and. Hold on a second, sorry. Kind of pull it out of me. I forgot to grab one of these. So, this is the water based Ohuhu marker. And it has a brush, dual pen. It has a brush, a brush end. And like an ultra fine fine liner on the other end they act they feel really good when you're coloring and when you're drawing with these um, I color so I use these to color with and they I really I really really like them for them being a water-based marker um, really good it's a really good marker I, I do enjoy uh, using them actually and uh, this is their 60 count set is what I have and so um, we're going to try do a little bit of coloring here. I'm going to try to like saturate it a little bit to use the other ghosting or any kind of um, uh, bleed, bleeding. I can't draw straight lines if my life depended on it. I just have a hard time doing that. So it's kind of hard for me to do a straight line. I'm getting used to like working and being close up and being far away and sorry for moving you so far in. I wanted to try to, excuse me, sorry, adjusting. So that's the Ahuhu. So we got a little bit of ghosting, just not, but not, um, just a little bit of ghosting, very little. And it's right here. Um, I did a alcohol test on, with my Sharpies the other day. Hold on just a second. With my Sharpies the other day. And, um, this is what I got from... But I was really, really working that in there, like overworking it. So it took me a bit to get through to the, sorry, to get through to the other side. So I um, put a piece of paper because I was tempting to do this and then messed up. So this is um, the next thing that I'm going to do here. That was the Sharpie marker. So, I mean, everybody knows about Sharpies, at least if you're a color drawer you guys know about sharpie sharpies the dedicated the old school alcohol markers um so th what's next is that i'm going to do is a who alcohol base markers and yes these are the brush tips i'm going to write that in right now because these are a who brush brush markers okay so 
I have that here. And one and a half a chisel nib. And the other end has the other end has brush chisel brush pen brush marker. I love these markers. I love them. And they're, they, I really, really like them. Like, I'm looking forward to getting the 120 brush pen set, but I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Um, all right. So, we did the Ahuhu uh, water base marker, brush marker. We did Sharpie. We did the Ahuhu uh, alcohol brush marker. Now, to my favorite. Dun, 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 dun gel pens. So I got a couple different kinds of gel pens and I have them in, in, um, in, I mean, random, totally, totally random. So this, this set of, um, gel pen is, they're called the Fila 200 gel pen glitter set. So that's what this is, color red. Then I got our, you know, old school gel riders. Can't go wrong with those, right guys? There's just the glitter blue. And then I have the other really nice Jelly Roll Metallic. Everybody knows these. And if you don't, they're called Sakura Jelly Roll Gel Pens. And they got a, quite a few sets. And then they got a big set. I have the big set. I actually had two of the big set. But I gave one to my friend for Christmas. So this is the jelly roll. Okay. So I'm going to put jelly G roll is what I'm going to put there. Okay. So everybody knows G roll. And these are the gel rider. I love gel writers. It just sucks that their ink is so good that it just goes, you just go through it so fast, depending on what you're doing. Like these really do, they're really, really good. It's just a, they have a lot of ink that comes out of them. And then it's like, you don't even really have a chance to use them because the ink comes out really fast. And then, you know, there's other gel pens that you can get like a hundred of, and all of them work so good. And the ink doesn't come out really, really fast. But, you know, they have their, some have their favors and some have their do's and don'ts, you know what I mean? That are not all good, you know? Um, so we're going to put G. These are the jelly roll, or no, these are the gel riders. Gel riders. All right. Now. So we got the me metallic gel writer. Now we're going to use the Fila glitter gel pen. I just wish that like a gel writer has a true red glitter, not glitter. I mean, they have a, a true red and in the two sets, the three sets that I have, I only have one set that actually, you know, has a true red in it. All right, so we labeled those. Uh, yeah, I just wish they had a true red. Like, okay, for, for an example, if you don't know, they have Copic gel pens. Oh my goodness, they are the bomb. They're my favorite out of everything, of course, Copic. But um, they look like Okay, I'm going to start from this way because this is where the name is. And like they got lipstick red, right? So it's like a real, a real true red. This one is a real true red. But if you look at the one that I just put down, 
on the paper, the Fila one, it's not really an actual true red. It's like a pink red. But yeah, these, <laughs> these, these gel pens are the bomb. I think they're worth every penny, but talk to another colorist will be like, no, they're not. But I hate to tell you, it's pretty, they, they got it going on with Japan stuff. I got a lot of Japan made things and they've lasted me so long. Okay, I'm gonna do the Zig color, Zig clean color marker. Now, with those, I am just recently got these, so I'm still learning um, how to use them and whatnot. So I am going to do it probably in your eyes, not the right way, but I'm just gonna do what I think is right for me. So, because everybody does their stuff different, you know what I mean? You can't hate them for it. Life is different. All right, so that is saturation. And then I'm going to take the, the pen, the Zig, I got the Zig water brush. And then I'm going to try to do a thin line right up underneath it. So, that is the, they are the bomb. Yes, I got the 60 count set. Um, but, like I said, I'm still learning how to use the, uh, you, learning how to use wa my water brush pens. Okay, so my color pencils, I was going to, skip this one because I have everything out but my color pencils and so I'm going to just skip that one for right now and then I can edit it in for later but um we're gonna go I thought gel writers should have their own space because they have their own but I decided that we're gonna um we did it here and I think a lot of people already noticed if you guys want me to do it do these I will but we're going to just kind of go back down to where, um, So now we're going to move on to the paint pen. So here, paint pen. The paint pen looks like this. Let me zoom it up a little bit. So they look like that. They're very lightweight. I got a 32 set, I think it is. But their 32 set um, have great colors in them. Uh, and I, I, I actually really like it. Shuttle art is really good too for it being a, a um, more of a actually really a cheaper brand. But shuttle art is like how like our other real colorists, colorists that are like really good at coloring in all mediums, it seems like. Uh, uh, this is like how the Arteza is, but for someone that's trying to stay on a budget, like. Walmart, but like beefed up, super tough. So I figured I would just do a little bit of a of an example, and their and their nib is ultra fine. But the thing with paint pens, you gotta give it enough time to dry or you'll smear it, you know? So we wanna try to not do that. And you can do kind of a slip line too. And sometimes the cap is kinda hard to get off, but 
Dude, these are so, so cool. Yeah, everybody knows. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> All right. A fine liner. I have a lot of fine liners, so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna do the the gel crayon. Um, everybody knows about Copic. It's Copic Cow. It's gonna be the violet color. Um, and they go. Oh, I don't have Copic on here. Yeah, I don't have Copic on here. Thought I did. That must be my other, my other list for Copic stuff. All right. So, and you guys know Sharpie. That's what I showed you my Sharpie. So I use these two colors. I'm still learning how to blend. This is my practice. I use Sharpies for practicing that. And then I use my really nice stuff for my really nice stuff. So I have. Okay, so my husband's a tattoo artist, and so he does a lot of art uh, line work and stuff like that. And so I bought myself another brand that are, I mean, they're pretty dang similar to all of my other, uh, the, the actual Micron. They just, they just have a little bit of a different feel to them with the ink and how much they come out. All right, so I got these off of Wish, and I got them for about, I think they were like $10. And they come in all different kinds of sizes. So... So they're really, really similar, like very, very, very similar. So I'm going to do a micron and I'm going to put that on here. Micron line, fine liner. I'm going to do that right here. I don't have a, oh, I do, right here. Here we go. So now these, I gotta kinda like point them on the, the end, not the side where you write like this, but on the end. Like I have to point, or they slack a little bit. Like if I go like this, see? That's not a full line. Those aren't full lines. These are, I'm just saying, like, you gotta kind of go slow with these ones, because they kind of pull away from you, they're not, they're inky, they're just not, like, slow, like how microns flow, and, um, yeah, that definitely changes it up a little bit, but I, I like them. For me being a, a beginner, that, those are awesome. They work really, really good for me. I have no problem with it slacking off a little bit, but I do know, I, I know that now. You know, I didn't really know it before. So, now we're going to get into these super crayons. Oh, yeah. They are awesome. I love them. And I got it from Walmart on the Walmart app. Amazing. Amazing. They're so much fun. <coughs> I'm going to do... I use these for backgrounds. So you can kind of rub it and smudge it. I've even taken a water brush to it. But see, those microns, they say they're waterproof. Sometimes it, they smear a little bit when you're using them. So, yeah, that is a little bit of my 
you know, uh, my comparison video. I just wanted to kind of share a couple ideas with you guys, a couple of my mediums with you guys. I do have quite a few of other things I'm going to do. Hopefully here this week, I'm going to do a tour of my, of my, um, little color space that I have. And then, um, I will, uh, be showing that. I'm, I'm hoping this week. So hopefully I can see you guys there and, and you guys will be able to see me. So, or at least see my hands. Um, like I said, this is my, that's my YouTube channel. Coloring with North Star Lady. And this is the comparison video. And it will be on. Please check me out. You can totally, totally just come and see and see what you think. Um, hey, if you, if you end up being a subscriber, I am very new. So I'm just getting down with my groove. So I'm not really, um, haven't been doing it for very long. So try, come see. If you don't like it, oh well. And if you do, hey, hey, you know. Have a good day. You guys be safe. Stay, stay healthy. Keep your masks on. Keep your masks on, everybody. All right. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.